Whale Hellfire. It is Rock the Rift back with another Metalhead Envy. And uh, going through the comments, I think it's safe to say that Thunder Vision, Thunder Vengeance, was uh, the most repeats I saw. And uh, once again, we're diving into some more Love Bites. And here we go. this whole setup. Rain and blow, it's about to kick in. <laughs> That's slick. I think uh, I've said it before, but I swear these ladies have mastered the fucking up tempo, thrashy, let's fucking drive fast uh, sound. Getting ready for a solo. Django, what are you doing? Come here. Come here. I'm walking around at my feet, dude. Walking around biting on my feet. <laughs> you gonna crawl on me? Are you gonna sit here and watch the uh, YouTube or are you gonna? Hype on my shoulder, man. What you doing? <laughs> hey, man. Your claws are digging into me. Look. See? You can be comfortable right there. Say hello to YouTube, Django. Go play. Yeah, here we go. 
Oh, that was slick. I haven't really stopped commenting it too much. I really dig this track. It's fucking, it's pretty thrashy. It's pretty fast. <laughs> I was waiting for her to solo to kick in. Okay. That was slick. That was really cool. Uh, hmm. I felt like that song needed another two minutes, though. Like, for real. Like, that, that nice little build up at the end. That was cool. Uh, <clears throat> hmm. So, I've got a few older, or the older, I've got a few other tracks that really stick out to me a little bit more. Uh, set the World on Fire and. The Hammer of Wrath uh, Toots song thing I watched. I can't remember the name. Y'all told me in the comments. Because uh, the Hammer of Wrath live version I watched had a different track that opened it up. And then Swan Song. But Thunder Vengeance is definitely right there at the cusp of those for me. I do like it more than I did Edge of the World. And maybe it's just me being a nitpicking. I wish there would have been more guitar solos in this track. But there and again, that's the guitarist in me. And tracks could just do with more guitar solos, period, in my opinion. <laughs> but that was really cool. And I think there's a few others I've seen repeated in the comments for from the Wolfpack wanting me to check out. I had to go back through and find them. But Thunder Vengeance was really slick. I dig the drum solo, like, I I don't know, it's like, I wish the guitar solos and the drum solos had been longer, 
maybe to give me that extra couple minutes at the end. But I'm not sure. Hmm. I'm not sure. I don't know. It's like, uh, I think this is the first track from Love Bites I've listened to that at the end I was like, man, I really wanted more. I guess is the best way to put it. And I hope the Wolfpack don't uh, attack me for that. That's just, like I said before, when I do these reactions, I'm saying what's coming off the top of my head. And, uh, yeah. But, until I see y'all with the next one, stay rock, stay positive, and I'm out.